2014 is a misunderstood and underappreciated vintage in Bordeaux. In a way, it was fortunate that Chateau Latour released their 2014 only in 2022, as it gave everyone a chance to reappraise and reconsider the vintage's merits. 2014 is far, far better as a vintage in the northern Medoc especially than many casual Bordeaux observers realize. The Indian summer that occurred in September 2014 allowed the great estates of Pauillac, Saint-Estef and Saint-Julien to ripen their grapes under virtually perfect conditions and this is reflected in Wine Advocate's vintage score and rating for 2014 as 93 points and outstanding. In fact, 2014's closest comparables are some of the most heralded modern vintages of the northern Medoc. 2014 is only a couple of points lower than 2005, which is widely hailed as one of the greatest Bordeaux vintages of the 2000s. In his Latour 2014 review, Wine Advocate's William Kelly specifically references the northern Medoc as having produced the best wine of 2014. It is no surprise to find Latour 2014 scoring 97 plus points from Wine Advocate. James Suckling weighs in with a 99 point score of his own and all the major critics rate this wine exceptionally well with numerous 96 and 97 point scores. Latour 2014 received its current 97 plus point score from Wine Advocate in March 2022. This was an increase on the 96 points in bottle score from 2017, although the 2017 score was given by then wine advocate critic Neil Martin. The in bottle score was itself above the lower band of Martin's and Primer score of 95 to 97 points. We like to see this kind of positive score momentum as it indicates a wine evolving better than expected in the bottle. This promises well for future score upgrades and also for the potential longevity of the wine. Latour 2014 outscores many more fashionable vintages of Latour. Latour 2000, for example, now nudges £5,000 a case in price, but is scored lower than the 2014. But with a drinking window until at least 2068, Latour 2014 will outlast many of the vintages in the list above by many years, and this is vitally important when considering appreciation potential. Latour 2014 is one of the most undervalued of Latour currently, its discount to the fair value curve is only matched by the 2003, but in the latter case it is clear that the market doesn't wholly trust Wine Advocate's 100 point score from the heatwave vintage of 2003. The current price of £2,550 per case of 6 for Latour 2014 is well below the implied fair value for its 97 plus points Wine Advocate score, which is close to £3,500. Indeed, compared with similarly scored vintages, the undervaluation of Latour 2014 stands out clearly. The next release from Latour is scheduled to be the Latour 2016, most likely in March 2024. What price will Latour 2016 release at? The 96 points Latour 2015 was gobbled up by collectors at a release price of £3,150 per case. With a nailed on 100 points from multiple critics, including Wine Advocate, it seems inconceivable that Latour 2016 won't see a very significant price jump. The nearest comparable trading in the marketplace will be the 100 points Latour 2010. That is trading at £6,200 per case of six, and so a price of less than £4,000 for the 2016 seems inconceivable. But if, when, the new Latour 2016 releases at £4,000 to £4,500, how will that make the 97 plus points Latour 2014 look way down at just £2,550? Pretty darn attractive in our view. Latour left the Bordeaux en Primeur system in 2012. Instead of annual releases in the early summer following the harvest, Latour is released only after extended aging in bottle, when the estate considers it ready for consumption. This decision has several advantages for collectors. It ensures that the wine is of the highest quality when it is released, as it has been aged in the estate's cellars only, and the chateau can release the wine when the timing is most appropriate, avoiding the financial squalls which come from time to time, and also resisting the group think on pricing that the imprimeur process engenders. This will only help the estate's long-term price evolution, yet another reason to acquire vintages like the 2014 as part of any serious collection.